Hey there everyone, I'm Nathan from Minnesota Mobile Guide. Mobile Hotspot, if you're not familiar with it, is a feature included on most of today's smartphones. It allows you to share the internet from the data plan that you have with your carrier with other Wi-Fi enabled devices. So you can connect a laptop, a tablet, a gaming console, anything that has Wi-Fi to your smartphone and share the internet, thereby giving that other device an internet connection. So it's a pretty popular feature that's included on a lot of current data plans and a lot of customers make use of that feature. But American cellular carriers tend to be very greedy and restrictive when it comes to the hotspot capabilities, and they all try to limit it in some way or another. Um, T-Mobile, for example, limits the amount of hotspot that you can use in a given month. Uh, Verizon and AT&T actually don't let you use the hotspot at all if you're using the phone unlocked with another carrier. You only have access to that feature when you're using it with their own service. And Sprint is one of the carriers that charges extra for the hotspot feature in addition to the data plan that you're already paying for. Here with me today I have a Sprint Samsung Galaxy S6. As so you can see on the back here it has the S6 designation and then if we go ahead and pop into the phone here we'll be able to see that it has all of the Sprint apps installed there. And then if we can pop into the phone settings we'll be able to see that it is the S6 with a model number of G920P, so that's the Sprint variant of the Galaxy S6. So this is one that I have activated on my own personal Sprint line, but I'm not paying Sprint for that hotspot feature. So if I go into the hotspots headings here and try to enable it, get a message that says connecting, and then right away it tells me that I'm not subscribed to the hotspot service, and it asks me to see options for paying Sprint for that monthly feature. Well. What if I don't want to pay Sprint for that feature? My business offers services whereby I can get the hotspot enabled for you on phones like this without having to pay that extra fee. This is one that I've pre-configured to be able to do that, so all I'll have to do here is one quick restart to the phone, and we'll be able to see that it does now actually get hotspot running without that fee being on my line. One second here. All right, it's coming back up here. Just give it another couple seconds. All right, so now that it's back up and fully loaded, we're gonna go ahead and pop into those hotspot settings again and see what it does now. So this time, I'm gonna go to turn on the hotspot. I'll get that same connecting message and the same hotspot screen as before. Now this did show up very briefly previously with the list of the hotspot name there and then basic instructions on how to connect to it, but I now do not get that error message anymore. So the phone has now been fully configured to allow the hotspot to run without it having to be on my Sprint line. I should also, message, I should also mention that this also goes for the S6 Edge because in the end they're just of almost exactly the same phone, the screen being the only difference. So, if you have a Sprint Galaxy S6 or S6 Edge and would like to get the hotspot enabled without paying Sprint that monthly fee, go ahead and get in contact with me. All the details will be in the video description. Y para todos los hispanos hablantes, también hablo español, así que no duden contactarse conmigo. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.